back now. I'll sing of the love so much to you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> In moments like this, I'll sing of the song. I'll sing of the love so much to Jesus, in moments like this, how sing out a song, how sing out a love song unto Him. Now let's go together now. Singing I want to give my brief testimony. I was born dead. Doctor declared that I was dead. But people of God, they wrestle with the spirit of death. I started breathing. After one hour, 45 minutes, I made my first cry on the 12th day. Jesus raised me for a purpose. He raised me to preach the gospel of Jesus. I always say wherever I go, when you are seeing me, don't look outside appearance. Or don't feel pity for me. I am a human being like you. What you are seeing is just only a pattern from God. A real person is inside. Is inside. I am married with three beautiful children. Three children. Two girls, one boy. Tonight, it's a night of your miracle. The Bible says, faith comes by hearing. Hearing what? Hearing the word of God. Hearing the word of God. John chapter 5 from verse 1. After this, a Jewish festival took place 
and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. By the ship gate in Jerusalem, there was a pool called Bethesda in Hebrew, which has five colonnades. Within these lay a large number of the sick, blind, lame, and paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water, because an angel would go down into the pool from time to time and steer up the water. Then the first who got in that, who got in that water wa was steered up, recovered from whatever ailment he had. One man was there who had been sick for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew he had already been there for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to get, do you want to get well? Sir, the sick man answered, I don't have a man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. But while I'm coming, someone goes down ahead of me. Get up, Jesus told him. Pick up your mat and walk. Instant, instantly, the man got well and picked up his mat and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. Let us pray. Now, when that we have heard from the Bible, the Bible says, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Then in Jerusalem, there was a pool with five porches. This pool was called Bethesda in Hebrew. My Bible tells me when the angel come down to stir up the water, many people were going there to get their miracle. So there was a man. He was in Fimit for 38 years. He was sick. My Bible told me when the water was stirred, some people will go first before him. Some people go first before him. So one day, Jesus was passing by. He saw this man. And this man said, for 38 years, I was sick. Jesus said, take your mat and go. According to his faith, according to his faith, Tonight, tonight, according to your faith, the Bible says, Go unto me, I will answer you. The Bible says, my eyes. Where is my help come from? My help come from the Lord. Who made the heaven and the earth? 
Tonight. 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 I say tonight. Tonight. According to your faith. The Bible says. Is there anything that is too hard for me? There is nothing that is too hard for God. There is nothing that is too hard for God. There is nothing that is too hard for God. There is nothing that is too hard for God. There is nothing that is too hard for God. According to your faith. According to your faith. According to your faith. For how long is that situation? For how long is that situation? I said for how long? For how long, Mama? For how long will you be sick? For how long? But tonight, but tonight, but tonight, if you go on to Jesus, if you go on to Jesus, Jesus will answer you. The Bible says, I'll raise up my eyes. Where is my help come from? My help come from the Lord. Who make the heaven and the earth? I want to let you know. Tonight. Tonight. If you go on to Jesus. Is that your cancer? Is that your heart problem? Is that high blood pressure? But tonight, but tonight, what I know, the water has been steered. 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 Your water has been steered. The water has been steered. The water has been steered. What do you want to do? You need to raise up your faith. Raise up your faith. Raise up your faith for a miracle. Raise up your faith. Raise up your faith. Raise up your faith. I say raise up your faith. Raise up your faith. Tonight. Tonight. I say tonight. If you go on to Jesus, maybe you're barren for many years. But what I know, what I know, the water has been stirred. Your water has been stirred. Your water has been stirred. The water has been stirred. The water has been stirred. I said the water has been stirred. The water has been stirred. We hear in the Bible. We hear here a centurion. His daughter was dead. He went to Jesus. And the man said, My daughter is dead. Jesus said, Let's go to the house. When he arrived, he said, Taluta kumi. That means, Daughter arise. Daughter arise. Daughter arise. Tonight, your miracle is here. Your miracle is here. Your miracle is here. Your miracle is here.
here. I want to let you know. Your miracle is here. Your miracle is here. Your miracle is here. Your breakthrough is here. Is that your finance? You have problem in your finance. But what I know, but what I know, your miracle is here. 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 I want to let you know. I want to let you know tonight. I want to let you know tonight. Tonight. Your miracle is here. Your miracle is here. Your miracle is here. Your miracle is here. The virtue of healing is here. I can feel it. 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 Tonight. I say tonight. 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 Your miracle is here. Your miracle is here. I want to cast some sicknesses. Touch where you are feeling pain. Can you touch where you are feeling pain? And raise up your hands. I want to pray wherever you are. The power of God has no boundaries. I want to pray wherever you are. I am now praying. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every sickness. In the name of Jesus. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus. Go. Go. Come out. I say, come out. In the name of Jesus. Go. 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 Go in the name of Jesus. I say, go. Come out. Come out. Come out. In Jesus' name. Amen. How many are healed? Can you raise up your hand? How many are healed? I want testimonies. For those who have been healed, come forward for your testimony. Come forward, come forward for your testimony. Come forward for your testimony. Those who have been healed, come forward for your testimony. Come forward, come forward, come forward. Come forward, where's number two? Number two, where are you? Come forward, number three, where are you? Come forward for your testimony.
evangelist. Since 2010, she had a serious pain on her side, which was disturbing her and discomforting her. But as you prayed and cast out the demon of sickness, Jesus touched her and the pain is gone. Let's give glory to Jesus. I was having some, some sharp pain on my right side. I tried to wait for the doctors. The doctors say there's nothing. But today I thank the God of the sick. I'm no longer feeling that pain. The pain is gone. I want to thank God so much. Evangelist, there is a lady who is walking normally here. But she says... For some time now, she had been having problems with her legs. They were very painful. Her legs were so painful, and she could not lift them up. And when she went to the doctors, they said it was BP. They described whatever they described. But here she is walking normally. Why can't we give glory to Jesus? You can see she's walking on her own normally. There is a boy here, evangelist. His shoulder was so painful that it was now difficult to lift up his hand. But as you were preaching and cast out the spirit of sickness, Jesus touched him. He is now feeling okay. Why can't we raise our hands and give glory to Jesus? There is a lady carrying her back there. She was, she was suffering from something that she, she suspects there were tonsils. But as you were preaching and praying, Jesus touched her and the pain is gone. Why can't we give glory to Jesus? Amen. I just want to thank the Lord uh, for the past week. I had flu, and then I could not eat properly. I thought maybe there were tonsils and something, so I was drinking some panadols. So when the evangelist was praying, I just felt my throat as if something that was there is now gone. So I just want to thank the Lord. The evangelist wants to pray for this group of people, those people who are buried all those who have miscarriages. Please, if your husband is here, come the two of you. Come pray. Come pray. Those who are barren and those who have miscarriages. Come. Come pray. Come and help them. Yahweh. 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 Yahweh.
Jesus.